look, um, approximately uh, 8.50 yesterday morning, uh, police were called to an address in Jupiter Street. Uh, upon arrival at that address, uh, police discovered a male person walking along Jupiter Street armed with a knife. As a result, that person was uh, immediately take, restrained and taken into custody. Uh, from our investigations, what it reveals is that male person has attended that addre an address in Jupiter Street. Uh, he's had an argument with another male person there. He's then presented a, uh, a knife, approximately uh, 20 centimetres long. Uh, he's, uh, then attended, he's then commenced uh, punching and cutting this person. Um, he's then left that address uh, and walked down the street uh, to where police have located him and taken him into custody. How seriously injured was this man? Yeah, luckily for the person who was uh, quite uh, sizable, uh, the, the, the victim was quite sizable, he was able to hold him. He's got a number of, uh, I guess, they were defensive wounds, uh, cuts across uh, his left forearm, uh, and he, he received medical treatment, but they're non life threatening. However, it could have been a lot more serious, obviously. Okay, and he's been charged? He has. He's been charged with uh, one enter. Do, one enter dwelling with intent, uh, one assault case in bodily harm while armed, and one going armed, of course, for you. Was there a link with this? Yeah, look, it appeared that they were known to each other. Uh, the circumstances surrounding why uh, the assault took place we're still investigating. However, obviously, it's very concerning that people are, are out, you know, arming themselves with knives. It's so easy for uh, something to go so much worse here, and, you know, we could be dealing with a dead body. Yeah, look, cool down. People, uh, you know, we, we're just seeing too much violence at the moment. Obviously, uh, there's a propensity for people to be out there having too much to drink and then uh, getting in a fight. And in these instances, we see people arming themselves with knives. And while uh, we've got no dead bodies on, we could quite easily be dealing with three dead bodies after the weekend. And uh, no one wants to be looking at that. Because not only does it ruin those person's life and the family of those persons who are the victims, but also the, uh, the families of the uh, person who's done the offence. Did that man cooperate with police when they saw him on the, on the road holding the knife? Look, it appeared that uh, once he was challenged by police, uh, he, uh, he immediately uh, dropped the knife and was taken into custody, yes. How what were the offender and the victims? Yeah, the offender is a 30-year-old male, uh, and I'm not sure about the victim.